Hey friends, welcome back to Country Kitchen. Today we are going to make this delicious stewed pork. So guys, keep on watching if this is something that you're interested in. And thank you so much for clicking on this video. So right here I have two packs of pork. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut them up in my desired size and then I'm going to rinse them. You can rinse them with lime, lemon juice, or vinegar, whichever one you have at hand and you just want to go ahead and rinse them twice to make sure that your pork is nice and fresh after rinsing my pork i'm going to chop up my seasonings i have scotch bonnet pepper i have garlic ginger scallion onions and i'm also going to add some pimento and i'm going to set my pork to to um, marinate for a few hours before i cook it you can do that for overnight as well if you have the time all right so Right here I have my browning. This is just a regular Walmart browning. I normally use the Grace browning, but I just um, ran out. So I have to stick with what I have. Now I'm adding a tablespoon of my jerk marinade. I know I'm not making jerk pork, but this is gonna add a nice flavor to it. And I'm adding two tablespoons of jerk seasoning, of pork seasoning, sorry. All right, and that's from the Easy Spice brand. Now I'm gonna add a tablespoon of my jerk seasoning and as i said before it's not jerk pork but it's gonna add a nice flavor to your pork all right so i'm also gonna add some paprika everything that i'm adding on my pork is gonna be in my description box i'm adding some herbs and this has thyme in it and it has lots of other herbs it's gonna allow the pork to taste really good because you're gonna be cooking this pork for a while so you want to make sure that it has the right amount of seasoning I'm also adding a little bit of black pepper and some minced garlic all right so we're just gonna work that in and we're gonna put it in the fridge for a few hours As you can see this pork is well seasoned it has lots of herbs lots and lots of herbs so it's gonna taste really good I can tell you that from now it's gonna taste really good all right so even if you don't have the jerk seasoning and all of that to add to your stew pork just make sure that you add lots of herbs pimento and all those spices because that's what's gonna give you give your pork a nice flavor especially the ginger and the garlic all right, so we're just gonna cover this and place it in the refrigerator for a couple hours and then I'm gonna come back and cook it. So now it's been a few hours and we're ready to cook this delicious pork. My pot is heated and I'm adding some oil. As soon as my oil is heated, I'm gonna add my pork. All right, we're gonna add all this pork little by little because we don't wanna burn ourselves. So as soon as all the pork is in the pot, we are going to start the braising process. All right, so the braising process is gonna take anywhere from three to five minutes. We were just gonna constantly stir this in the heated oil and then after that i am going to cover the pot and allow the pork to produce its own liquid all right when you're doing that process that's going to allow the pork to absorb all the herbs and spices that is in the pot after the braising process what i did was cover the pot for 15 minutes and during that 15 minutes it was producing its own liquid and absorbing all the herbs and the flavor that's in the pot all right so now the liquid is being reduced so now it's time to add liquid to the pot so i have some hot water in my kettle i'm just gonna add it little by little until my pork is tender enough to my liking because your pork must be properly cooked so as soon as it's tender to my liking i'm going to add some more flavor in the pot because this has been cooking for about 45 to minutes to an hour all right so it depending on the part of the pork that you're cooking some part may take longer but this was cooking for about 45 minutes it was really tender so now i'm gonna add my scallion some more scallion onion 
peppers some bell peppers because that's gonna give it some extra flavor all right because remember we're constantly adding water so now you want to reflavor the pot as you can see the meat is tender so we're gonna have this with some cocoa bread right so normally when I'm making stew pork, I would add like chopped carrots or potatoes and stuff like that. But we're not going to add that today because we're having it with cocoa bread. So we want it to kind of have like this jerk pork thing going on for it. So what we're going to do is I have my oven heated at 350 degrees. I'm just going to put the pot in there so that the liquid can reduce and the pork can get this nice brown jerk pork look. Yeah, that's what we're going to do and then we're gonna have it with some cocoa bread the cocoa bread video is gonna come up soon so don't worry all right so now the pork is ready you will just pop it in the oven for about 10 minutes and it's ready and trust me it was delicious i'm not telling you that because i cooked it you're gonna have to just try the recipe for yourself all right because i don't lie when i come on here and tell you that the food tastes good it tastes good all right so Look out for the cocoa bread video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and if you haven't subscribed as yet, just go ahead and hit the red subscribe button. It's free. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have some videos coming up, some teaching videos coming up for you. Um, someone want to learn how to make soup, so I'm going to be showing them how to make the Jamaican pumpkin soup. So look out for that video as well, as I will be teaching my sister-in-law to make cocoa bread and that's coming up as well thank you for watching bye